you. Be 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 you. Hi, my name is Jasmine Merriweather, and I'm with Hartman Regional Community Center. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an obstacle course for ages 6 to 8. To set up my obstacle course, I'm going to use cones. If you don't have cones at home, you can use books, shoes, or canned goods to outline your obstacle course. When you're creating your obstacle course, you can use any type of materials you can think of or you have available at home. So I'm going to use a hula hoop for one, um, basketball, ping pong balls, jump ropes, just about anything that you choose to have done. Make sure you get Leslie, este es mi amigo Diego. Yo hoy les voy a enseñar cómo hacer mangonadas. So, he's going to explain you how to do it. Alright, so the ingredients that you'll end up needing for this recipe is going to be a couple mangoes. You can buy these at any grocery store and just make sure they're ripe. That way it tastes even better. You'll need some sugar. You'll also need, you can also buy some mango juice to make it taste even better. So the steps that you'll need to take in order to prepare a mangonada is you're going to use your mangoes, you're going to peel them, up and then you're just gonna put uh, you're gonna get rid of the pit and just blend it together in the blender with the mango parts mango juice the sugar and blend all that together and put it in a bin and freeze it overnight and it's gonna look like this mellow amazing yellow dessert here once it's enough frozen enough what you're gonna do is to prepare it actually you're gonna put get your cup your chamoy sauce, you can decorate it all over the cup there. You're gonna get a couple scoops of your frozen mango dessert. And then you're gonna top it off with tahini. There you go, Put some more chamoy sauce. Give it an extra kick. And you just pour, just if you like a lot, then pour a lot. If not, then just a little bit. There you go. And then you can share it with your family and friends. Thank you for watching, guys. Gracias. Hi, I hope everyone's having a great, fantastic day. We're out here taking a nice stroll in the park, you know, getting our fitness in, our cardio. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. Uh, we're gonna see some people on the trail. And, oh, I think I see my friend right now. Hey, it's so good to see you. Hey, Brittany. How you doing? I'm good. Uh, would you mind introducing yourself to the people, all my friends here? Well, do you want my full name or just my short name? I would love to get your full name. Uh, are you ready for this? <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> it's Carmen Manuela Diaz Villanueva. 
Say that one more time. <laughs> You want me to say slower? Yeah, please, please, please. Carmen Manuela Diaz Villanueva. That's a super long name. I have a question, Carmen. Why is your name so long? Well, we have first names, you know? Yeah. Carmen is mine. Mm -hmm. We have middle names. Okay. Guess which one is it? Manuela? Yes, Manuela. <laughs> My dad's last name is Diaz. Okay. And my mom's last name is Villanueva. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you guys have your mom and your dad's last name? Yes. Most Hispanic countries, we use both of our parents' last name. Oh. That's why my name is super long. Oh, wow. Okay. Now I understand because I only have one last name, but you guys have two. So let's see. Can you tell us where you're from? Like, where are you from? I'm from Lima, Peru. Oh. Do, do you know where Peru is? No, not really. Can you tell me? It's in South America. Oh, okay. So, do you guys speak Spanish? Yes, we do. So, not only Mexico speaks Spanish, what other countries speak Spanish? Actually, there's so many countries that speak Spanish. Do you want me to tell you? Please, because I'm so lost right now. Okay, so, España. Spain. Colombia. Colombia, okay. Peru, Peru, Venezuela, Venezuela, Ecuador, Ecuador, El Salvador, El Salvador, Costa Rica, Costa Rica, Panama, Panama, oh, that's a lot. Oh. Mexico, Mexico, knew that one. Argentina, Argentina, Guatemala, Guatemala, okay. Cuba, Cuba, Bolivia, Bolivia. Honduras, Honduras, Paraguay, Paraguay, Chile, Chile, República Dominicana, Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, Nicaragua, y Uruguay. That last one. <laughs> Uruguay. Uruguay. Okay. Well, you guys call it Uruguay. Uruguay. Oh. So all these countries is in South America, right? Uh, not all of them. Hmm. Some are okay. in North America and Central America, even in Europe. Oh, wow. There's so many countries. I didn't know that. Bree, I forgot one country. What, what is it, Carmen? Puerto Rico. Oh, Puerto Rico. How did we forget that one? Sorry. <laughs> well, thank you. That was so interesting. I didn't know that. You're welcome. Love it. So, a question. Are Hispanics and Latinos the same? Uh, no, we're not the same. I mean, we share some stuff, but Latinos are everybody that lives in Latin America. So, we include Brazil in that category. And Hispanics are all the countries that speak Spanish. That's why we include Spain. Got it. So, Latinos live in Latin America. And Hispanics speak Spanish. That's right. Uh, got it. See, Carmen, you're teaching me so much today. So, are the foods kind of the same? Uh, not at all. Like, I'm from Peru, and we don't eat the same food as Mexico does, or any other countries. We have similarities, but we don't eat the same stuff. Got it. So, it's kind of like people from up north, like regular tea, and people from down south. Like sweet tea? Like it's different? Yes. Got it. Okay. You well, know what? I think you should Google at home what kind of food each country has since you know all the countries that speak Spanish now. That would be so fun. And then try to make a dish. Like, you know, learn. That would be fun to do. Good suggestion, Carmen. Well, thank you so much for talking to my friends. Um, you ready to go for the walk? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> all right. See you guys. <laughs> Bye guys! <laughs> Hello everyone, I hope you all are having an amazing summer. We just want to make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. When you share the video, make sure that you hashtag BU and hashtag Metro Parks Nashville. Have a great day. See ya!